Hi, my name is Preston with Just a Bunch of Nerds, and we are here doing an unboxing of My Little Scythe by Stonemaier Games. Uh, Sto My Little Scythe was actually uh, a print-and-play game, a uh, print-and-play version of a game called Scythe, made by Stonemaier Games, and uh, a gentleman actually made it for his daughter. And so that's kind of the story behind My Little Scythe. It's a, a kid's version, basically, of Scythe. So we're going to pop open the top here and we're going to see here what's it like. I know I'm getting to the age where my kids are old enough that they can finally enjoy games like this. And I'm super excited that they are going to get to enjoy this one. Uh, oh, a repacking guide there. Uh, we've got two rule books. Uh, one for single player. You, it, you can play this game one player. Uh, it goes up to six players, though, which is perfect. We have a family of six. Uh, and then just your regular rule book. We have an achievement sheet, which, just like regular Scythe, there were achievements there. This will probably get a photocopy made of itself, so we can keep track of it. And it even comes with a painting guide for all your little your little minis for the little animal kingdoms just little things uh the different seekers they're called uh you got united bear kingdom the musk oxen kingdom kingdom of the wolves great monkey kingdom kingdom of Borland, and we've got the little player mats and the board and it's quite a big board i don't know if we'll fit it all in the shot but we will give you a little bit of a taste of what it looks like. Just like this. Similar to Scythe, uh, different territories, different land masses, and the big castle at the center. Actually, it does remind me, because the original print and play version was a My Little Pony version with the castle and all of the getting apples and stuff, which they did keep in this game, getting apples and throwing pies and that kind of thing. Uh, we've got a little punch outs another ones you can upgrade your different actions just like the original scythe uh, your base camp tiles uh, your little pie wheels that you'll use for combat again just like original scythe you'll use you'll commit a certain number of pies and whoever commits the most pies to a fight will win and here we have our little meeple trays our little miniature trays uh, so each faction comes with two seekers, they're called. And, I mean, here we've got the eagles, the musk oxen. Really nice detail, really thick and chunky. You can really grab them for kids. They're fantastic like that. Exactly. Thanks, Be More. Uh, just fantastic components, again, just like all Stonemeyer games. Remember when he says he's with just a bunch of nerds, this is just his tryout. <laughs> exactly. This is my big, big moment, folks. And we've got just another insert here. Uh, the Apple tokens, which are one of the resources. Gems, which are another resource. Dice. Removers. And the trophy, a couple of trophy cards and quest cards. So, uh, that is all the components for the unboxing of my little site, the kids version of the kids version of the Stonemaier Games site. Check it out. It looks to be great and I can't wait for it to hit the table with my family. Well, thank you, Preston. This is Be More behind the camera. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us what you thought. Should we give him another phase, you know, another shot at this, or is this the only phase he gets to be in? I mean, this guy, local celebrity, radio <laughs> news, got the face for radio. <laughs> but like I said, come back. <clears throat> Maybe we'll have a little more. Uh, uh, I guess a couple of questions. Do you plan on painting these? Uh, I. I don't know. I have always dabbled in being a painter, but I think I may just keep them. I may just keep them as is for now. Uh, depends. I do have a couple model paints at home, but I 
I'm by no means a skilled artist. So if, if they do get painted, it will be rough. There's always also the option of Haggis paints. That's true. That's very true. Uh, and, I mean, Haggis always does a fantastic job with your minis. So I'm sure he would do a great job with these ones. Well, we will look forward and we'll find out more about that. And we'll definitely want you to come back and do a review once you've had it with the game. How old are your kids? Uh, I have triplets that are eight years old and my oldest daughter is nine. And your wife is a gamer? Uh, she enjoys games uh, to an extent. Uh, she doesn't like the heavy, crunchy games. But I'm hoping she really likes this one. <coughs> and I think the aspect of it being that all six of us can play is really going to help out. Good, because yeah, and then we could definitely have you in to talk about how the game is, how eight-year-olds handle it, how four kids play and handle it, how a, yes. you know, a more, I guess you could say a casual gaming spouse can handle it, mm -hmm. and and find out, you know, what is this game like? Because I'm intrigued by it. Uh, I have scythe, a lot of scythe. Uh, <laughs> didn't, I didn't need any little. I got enough big scythe already, but it's good to have it in the gaming group. So we look forward to hearing from you. Awesome. Thanks a lot.